Havanese vs. Coton de Tullier, Comparing Two Fluffy Friends Introduction When it comes to choosing a furry friend to join our families, we often find ourselves spoiled for choice. With so many adorable dog breeds to choose from, it can be difficult to make a decision. In this article, we will compare two fluffy breeds, the Havanese and the Coton de Tullier, to help you determine which one might be the perfect fit for you. Origins and History the Havanese breed originated in Cuba and is the national dog of the country. These dogs were highly valued and often kept as companions to Cuban aristocrats. With their long, silky coats and playful temperament, they quickly became beloved pets. The Havanese eventually made their way to the United States and gained popularity for their charming personalities and adaptability. On the other hand, the Coton de Tullier hails from Madagascar. This breed's name is derived from its fluffy, cotton-like coat. Coton de Tulliers were once considered a sacred breed to the ruling classes of Madagascar, and they were often given as gifts to foreign diplomats. The Coton de Tulliers' cheerful and affectionate nature makes it a popular choice for families all around the world. Appearance and Grooming Both the Havanese and Coton de Tullier are small, fluffy breeds that are known for their unique coats. The Havanese's hair is long and silky, often reaching down to the ground. It comes in various colors, including white, cream, black, and many more. Their coat requires regular brushing to prevent matting, and some owners opt for professional grooming. On the other hand, the Coton de Tullier's coat is less delicate and has a cotton-like texture. Their hair is thick and soft, providing a cloud-like appearance. Like the Havanese, the Coton de Tullier's coat requires regular brushing to prevent tangles and matting. However, they are known to be hypoallergenic, making them a great choice for individuals with allergies. Temperament and Personality Both the Havanese and Coton de Tullier are known for their friendly and affectionate nature. They make excellent family pets and get along well with children and other animals. However, there are some differences in their temperaments. The Havanese tends to be more outgoing and playful. They thrive on human companionship and love to entertain their families with their silly antics. Havanese dogs are relatively easy to train and enjoy learning new tricks and commands. The Coton de Tullier, on the other hand, is slightly more reserved but just as loving. They are known to be excellent therapy dogs due to their gentle and calm nature. Coton de Tulliers are also intelligent and respond well to positive reinforcement training methods. Exercise and Training Both the Havanese and Coton de Tullier are small breeds that require regular exercise to stay happy and healthy. However, due to their compact size, they can adapt well to apartment living as long as they receive daily walks and playtime. Havanese dogs have moderate exercise needs and enjoy daily walks and interactive play sessions. They are also known to excel in various dog sports such as agility and obedience. Similarly, the Coton de Tullier enjoys daily walks and interactive play. They are playful dogs but tend to have lower energy levels compared to the Havanese. Mental stimulation through training and puzzle toys is essential for this breed. Health and Lifespan Both the Havanese and Coton de Tullier are generally healthy breeds. However, it's important to note some health concerns that are more common in each breed. Havanese dogs are prone to certain hereditary conditions such as hip dysplasia, patellar luxation, and progressive retinal atrophy. Regular veterinary checkups and a balanced diet can help prevent these issues. On average, Havanese dogs live to be around 14 to 16 years old. Coton de Tulliers, on the other hand, are susceptible to conditions such as hip dysplasia, eye problems, and allergies. Regular grooming, proper nutrition, and regular exercise can help maintain their overall health. Coton de Tulliers have a similar lifespan, living on average 14 to 16 years. Conclusion Choosing between the Havanese and Coton de Tullier is no easy task, as both breeds have their own unique qualities and charms. The Havanese is outgoing and playful, while the Coton de Tullier is gentle and calm. Both breeds require regular grooming and exercise to stay healthy and happy. 
Ultimately, the decision comes down to personal preference and lifestyle. If you're looking for a joyful, lively companion who enjoys being in the spotlight, the Havanese might be the perfect choice for you. However, if you prefer a calm, affectionate dog who excels in providing comfort and companionship, the Coton de Tullier could be your ideal fluffy friend. No matter which breed you choose, both the Havanese and Coton de Tullier will undoubtedly fill your life with love, laughter, and plenty of fluffy cuddles.